Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join a machine with an existing um, domain. <coughs> the, there are a few things that we need. I have written down here. Uh, first thing we need is static IP address of the machine that we're going to join with the domain. Uh, second thing that we need is default gateway, which is usually your router IP if, you're, if you have a network uh, at home. Uh, the third thing we need is the domain IP address because we need to put that in network setting as well. Um, and the fourth thing that we need is domain admin user. This user needs to have permission to add this machine to the domain. So let's look at the setting right now of this machine. This is the machine that we're going to join with the domain. So I'm going to right click on the network and go open network and sharing center change adopter setting is the one that you need to click here's the ethernet so you need to right click on that go to the properties go all the way down and we are interested in internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4 so highlight that and click properties as you can see right now the machine has default setting as obtain an IP address automatically so usually what happens is when, when you get machine via VM or your physical machine, these are the default settings. But we don't want that. We want to give it a static IP address. So click on this and looking back at the notes, this is the IP address that uh, is free in my network. So I'm going to give that 192.168.1.1. Eighteen. Subnet mask. Uh, default gateway. This is our second step up here. If you look at it, this is my default gateway IP address. But um, let me show you how to find the default gateway IP address. I'm gonna go in command line and type IP config. Right here, as you can see, it says default gateway. The IP address is right here. So. I'm going to type that in here. 1681254. And here's the uh, DNS setting. Uh, this is where, um, if you look back at the notes, uh, that's the IP address of your domain server. That's what we need to put in. So in my case, it's in 192.168.112. Well, so that's that's the network setting that we needed to do before we can actually join this uh, machine with the domain. So click OK, close. Now we'll go in computer, right click on my computer, properties, and you see here the computer full name is Dynamics AX Dev. So you need to click on change settings and up here click on change right now you can see that it's default work group it's not uh, connected with any domain so we need to click on domain and provide the domain name in my case it's SQL age also called SQL age click OK <clears throat> this is the user that if you go back to my notes this is the user uh, number four that I was talking about so provide that username and type the password as soon as we click it's, it's gonna try to join with the domain click OK and it's probably creating an entry in the DNS right now if it's successful it'll give you a message that welcome to the domain as you can see were successful if you face any issue doing that uh, most likely the issue would be uh, in your network setting sometimes what happen is that in network setting if you look at here or you go back to my notes this IP address um, you need to make sure that, that that's available and in, in your network 
because if it's taken then it's not going to tell you that uh, IP address is taken or conflict IP uh, in little home network uh, so you have to make sure that uh, this IP address is not being used um, and these settings are really the most important setting uh, if you run into any issue uh, it's, it's going to be uh, one of these settings uh, make sure the user have permission machine to an existing domain I hope this this video helps